Welcome to Project Get Speed, guys. On today's video, I am going to be installing some USB ports on my little 90s hatchback here. Let's get started. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jay, and this is Project Goodspeed, where I focus on mainly upgrading and building my daily hatchback here. So if you guys want to see the build so far and the future upgrades I've got planned, subscribe for more. Now, that being said, let's just dive right in. So over the next couple episodes, I plan to release a couple videos on electronic upgrades for the little hatchback. Now, in the last video that I released, I installed a double din in the little hatchback, and here is a quick update on that. So the double din here pretty much does everything that you would expect it to do. You know, it's pretty much, um, it's pretty great for the price. It's, the only issue I do have is it doesn't remember your audio setting. So you'll be driving with the music blasting, you get out the car, turn it off, and it suddenly forgets that you had the music blasting and turns it down to like a really low setting. So it does get annoying. Now, when I installed the double din, it actually comes with an option to add two USB ports, one with CarPlay and one just for charging accessories. Now, this double DIN only has the CarPlay function so long as you have a USB port attached to it. So I eventually had to have some sort of adapter mounted onto the car or just have some wires hanging loose with my USB cable connected to it if I wanted to use CarPlay. I really don't like having a bunch of cables all loose and just hanging. So after I installed it, I just zip tied the cables in the back and just left them there until I found a way to mount the USB ports onto the car so that I can get a nice clean look. Of course, if you just wanted to have um, USB ports for like charging stuff, you can always just use the cigarette lighter here and get yourself a relatively inexpensive uh, cigarette lighter here to just charge your stuff. Pretty simple, really. You just plug it in, right? And just like that, you can charge your stuff. Now, normally this would be enough, but as I said, I need to have this connected to my DIN in order to actually use CarPlay. Which leads me to reveal this. Check it out. USB port on the little hatchback to my double DIN and... Check it out. It actually works. We've got... Look at that GPS functionality. Everything works. So just like that, we have Apple CarPlay in my 90s hatchback. So what I did here is I basically went on Amazon and found um, basically an extension cord that allowed me to plug into the back of my double din and have some sort of mounting bracket on the other end so that I can mount it basically anywhere on my car. And Amazon has a whole bunch of these with different designs and different patterns you could have got. You could have gotten them basically to mount anywhere you have available. Uh, for me and for the little hatchback here, space is kind of limited to um, only a few spots. But since I have the um, aftermarket double din here, I was able to mount it right down here so that I can keep the nice flush look and didn't have to actually drill holes onto my car um uh, th this was already there i did not um try this as a failed attempt here that was already there so after i went on amazon and found the best looking adapter for my situation i then ordered some abs plastic which i could just cut up and basically shape into the proper size that i would need now initially in this spot here is actually a coin tray um slash ashtray i'm not sure which um either or but Basically, I just removed that and replaced it with this ABS plastic here with just some double-sided tape so that it wouldn't move. And that gave me a nice clean flush look so that I could just attach my adapter right on there. And the benefit of this, I don't actually have to drill basically any holes into my car. 
So everything remains the same if it turns out that I don't want to have it mounted there. I could just remove it, put back the ashtray slash coin tray, and no harm done. Now if I didn't have the double din, um, I probably would have just gone with this because basically all I would need it for is to charge my phone. But with the double din, I, it comes with the option of CarPlay, so I might as well have that hooked up. And I tried to bevel it out, um, sort of to mimic what the aftermarket uh, coin tray look like but it was very hard to do that with the Dremel and I don't have the steadiest of hands um, and it's, it was a pretty small piece just to hold on to anyway so it was a little difficult but I think it came out pretty decent and check out check out my little Honda emblem here this is a little this little pin pretty cool it glows in the dark too I think that was dope that probably won't stay on there uh, I don't know maybe I'll get like a nice Honda emblem to keep that OEM um, look but once i went ahead and plugged it in i tested it out um just to see if it worked you know me i have the habit of going and putting everything back in before i test it out so uh luckily it did work i was surprised because these are um 3.0 adapters and I'm, i wasn't sure if they would clash with the type of adapters that the double din um had because they might have been 2.0 adapters but luckily um, they worked, everything checked out fine. As we saw, I now have the option of using CarPlay and I get to look at the pretty cool GPS map on my Double Den here. Now I know to you guys, it probably doesn't seem like a big deal, right? It's just Apple CarPlay, it's 2022. That is basically common now in modern cars, but this is a 90s hatchback, you know, a 90s Honda Civic. Not designed to have this and yet here it is. I've got it. Man, it's gonna be so cool. And since I didn't actually use the cigarette lighter, I still have the function of basically attaching anything else that I want to here, um, other than a charger here. And I could just use that for any other kind of accessory. So that's still pretty cool. So now that I have my USB ports attached, I still have the issue of having this wire kind of loose all over the place. And not to mention, I don't have my phone um, properly mounted. If you guys don't know, um, in the Civic here, the, those car vent mounts um, really wouldn't work too well because your phone would be at such a weird angle. This is in the driver's seat and the phone would basically be facing way over here and you wouldn't be able to see all that well. But I think this little phone mount for my radio here should fit just well. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this and we can see if it does work. And I got this cool little cable tie here that is gonna hold my cable in place and out of sight. Now, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was, especially since it's just gonna be one USB charger. So, phone is mounted right there, plugged in, to the USB port down here and I have no trouble shifting it's close though I'm not gonna lie very close really too close for comfort uh, but while I'm driving it should be properly displaying everything just in case and not to mention it is still displaying everything that I need and I can I can even have my phone I can pull it out check stuff put it back all without having to have the wire coming all loose and everything. Of course, this is a brand new wire, so it still needs to be untangled properly. But for the most part, I think that's pretty, pretty decent. And obviously I don't have AC, so these buttons really won't matter because here in Cali, it's only one temperature really, and it's really hot. Check it out. It even has a little cable holder in the back, but obviously I won't need it because my phone plugs in from the bottom and the way this thing is mounted, uh, it wouldn't really make sense to use it. So basically, now that I've got my USB ports mounted, um, I don't have to worry about basically my phone dying every time I go out for a cruise or like a late night trip or a road trip or anything like that. And it's pretty convenient. And the little hatchback is well on its way to being a better daily driver. Not actually having the coin tray might bug me a little bit later on. I might move the USB adapter somewhere else if if it does end up bothering me a lot just because I, I do like having that OEM look there and not having to remove some stuff 
just to add an adapter. I would rather just have all my normal stuff and the adapter on the side somewhere. So I'll have to really think about uh, maybe positioning it somewhere else if it turns out that it does bother me a lot. But that being said, I don't think I'll remove the adapters indefinitely. What I mean is I wanna keep them on permanently just because they do make things easier and I've gotten used to using them in my other cars. So, plus I have heard that apparently the adapters are supposed to make your music sound a little bit better. But stay tuned if you guys wanna see more upgrades because this one was just a little stepping stone to the other stuff that I've got planned, but one that needed to get done because I really do like having a USB adapter. Um, it just makes things easier, you know? So subscribe and stay tuned if you guys wanna see all the other upgrades I've got planned for this little hatchback. So yeah, until next time guys, take care and good speed.